apply this in your business practice or your ideation phase, whichever phase you are going through. So in this webinar, you would also learn how you can decrease your ad cost and also how do you increase your margins when you're running Instagram ads through Facebook uh, ad manager. <clears throat> Great. Um, perfect. Just trying to get this right. Okay. So, <clears throat> perfect. So a little bit about me, um, you know, before we get started. Uh, my name is Watts, or you can call me Watts, uh, What's up, you know, uh, and I was born in India, spent all my life in India studying. Uh, I did my master's in ESEC Paris, uh, that's one of the top schools in France, uh, worked in Wall Street as a Wall Street marketer, you know, working with startups uh, in the financial capital of US. Uh, I'm also a marketing trainer at Aventus School of Management Singapore. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO at Standout. Uh, during my complete marketing experience, I've worked with about 50 plus startups across US, Brazil, France, Singapore. I've helped startups and SMEs in terms of growing their business through digital marketing. So that included not just Instagram marketing, but also Facebook uh, in terms of doing SEO, uh, running AdWord campaigns, building, setting up landing pages, optimizing them. Uh, and and yeah, basically I'm, I represent Standout, which is the team, the company that I work with. And we have a team of uh, people from all over the world. And we are trying to build a community of like-minded influencers who can actually leverage marketing using digital uh, tools uh, available today. <clears throat> so one last slide about me and then I'm gonna dive straight inside Instagram, okay? So where it all started? It all started in Singapore. It's the time when actually I moved um, from Bangalore to Singapore. And you can see this picture is one of my first checks that I received consulting a client in Singapore. And that's, that's where it all started, right? I mean, we started with small agency, you know, trying to help a lot of SMEs and startups with cost-effective scalable marketing. And we, we grew the business completely right from marketing for our clients and eventually, you know, uh, turning out in terms of offering educational services, uh, offline programs, online boot camps that we offer at Standout. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, this picture is very old. Uh, I think it's about 2016. Uh, I look very different now, for sure. And uh, great. <clears throat> so uh, diving right inside uh, Instagram marketing. So this is the money that we made. We, we've, in my complete experience, made about $10 million for the clients I work with. And personally, I've made about $100,000 within a year doing digital marketing. And that is the beauty of digital marketing, right? I mean, there's so much you can do. You can help, you can grow, and you can leverage the digital channels and tools available today and basically implement it and grow your business. Uh, if you're offering any sort of services, products, uh, whatsoever it may be, uh, marketing is very essential in today's world. Without marketing, you will not grow. You will not be able to sell. You will not be able to monetize. Uh, all right. Are you guys all good? Can I have a heads up on uh, from everyone? Awesome. Great. Great. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So let's let's go forward. <clears throat> Great. Now, uh, why Instagram marketing, right? Uh, at the first place. And not just Instagram, we're here today, we are gonna discuss about Instagram story ads. So why Instagram story ads? Because uh, as I have mentioned in the past, like we've got 500 million daily active users on Instagram and it's growing at 90% uh, at the hashtag, which is ad. So 90% so of people are actually uh, advertising more and more on Instagram stories. And one of the third most views viewed Instagram stories are from businesses. So if you're looking to even do B2B marketing using Instagram, um, this would perfectly fit because uh, a lot of businesses are also active on Instagram stories and you can actually reach out to them using Instagram story ads. So a little, a little fact about Instagram story ads, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of other facts I'll not cover in today's slide because today we are gonna do it. I'm gonna show you how to create an ad, how, how you can launch it, within 30 minutes and you'll be up and running. So I'm gonna go next. 
some of the ads that you might have seen that we have launched. Great, so one of the ads, another sort of ad in the travel and tourism space. This ad doesn't contain any audio, so I can speak. Uh, <laughs> so basically, uh, this is how a story video ad looks like. And I'm going to dive next into how does an image ad looks like on Instagram stories. Great. So this is one of the Instagram image ads. You know, you always have the swipe up button in the bottom, which you can actually click and optimize for whatever your marketing objective is. <clears throat> A little bit about the specifications of Instagram ads. So uh, these are basically the standard specifications that exist uh, in terms of marketing your ad or campaign through Facebook or Instagram. You know, you have a possibility of running a square, a vertical, and a full portrait vertical. Now, this is the exact specification that you need basically in terms of uh, running an ad on Instagram. That is 9 is to 16. Uh, this, if, if you don't have this specification, your ad will not get approved on Instagram. So this is very important that you make sure your ad is fully portrait and vertical. And uh, there are more other spec specifications and features that we would cover in the next slides, which are also really important. So <clears throat> one of the other specs being uh, that, of course, the, the video for any Instagram ad cannot exceed more than two minutes. So make sure that whatever videos that you are creating on Instagram should not exceed two minutes. I would say the best performing videos on an average are between 15 and 20 seconds because you know the attention time and the span is very low these days. So you have to capture your audience attention within 15 seconds. Make sure your starting three seconds are hyper dynamic and you know you kind of engage them with your first three seconds when you start or launch an ad on Instagram. Uh, your pixels should not be less than 500. Pixels is basically a measure of quality of your ads. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about these technical specifications. I'm going to give you two amazing free tools which will solve all of this problem. Ready-made templates, plug and play, all right? So don't worry, but this is just for educational purpose. You, this, you need to know that you cannot have less than 500 pixels in order to launch an ad because Facebook will not approve your ad. Uh, Again, uh, the size cannot exceed 30 MB uh, when you're running an ad on Instagram. Uh, some of the video aspect ratios. Um, great guys, so uh, before I go next, I would like to announce that I've got like some really free goodies and some great eBooks, which I would be sharing at the end of this webinar. It's completely free. It covers the complete presentation that I'm showing you today with a lot of Instagram hacking, hacking tools and the sort of steps you need to take in, in order to launch your Instagram story ad. So don't worry about taking notes, don't worry about taking snaps, or you will have it at the end of this webinar. Great, going next, um, we also need like a sort of a thumbnail when we launch an ad on Instagram. Thumbnail is basically like an image that shows up before the ad starts, like in case of a video ad, yes. In case of a picture ad, you don't need the thumbnail. The picture itself acts like an ad. <laughs> Great. So um, it's time to launch the campaign, right? So let's go ahead. Let me show you how to set the campaign up. How do we create an ad on Instagram? And uh, how do we get it up and running? So I would really want to have some sort of volunteers with your ideas. I'm going to do a live demonstration on how to create a video from the scratch and launch the ad. So uh, I, I want some of you guys to maybe show up with some ideas or your business that you're into. And I will choose the best that I want to work on and we will create an ad on that. So go ahead, guys, just pop in your messages and uh, let's, let's, let's see what, what we have. Where is the chat? 
<clears throat> hey guys, so just drop in your ideas. Like uh, what I basically mean is um, I want to run an ad. So what should I create an ad on? So if you're selling, uh, if you're selling marketing services, you're selling consulting services, or maybe you're selling a product, anything that you want to want me to work on today, uh, I will pick one and I'll work on it. So feel free and drop your messages. Let's see what you've got. <clears throat> Travel and online food. Okay, interesting. Life coaching. Mm, all right. Series of ebooks for parent child marketing. Travel, ebook, social services. A lot of ebooks out there. Did you guys actually build it? <laughs> all right. I'm just kidding. Um, tourism, virtual classroom life coaching travel and online food okay online food all right cool marketing campaign for electronic product furniture manufacturer tuition service online courses okay um consultation on job all right guys i think i really love this one which is from ankita shah travel and online food so i'm gonna really work on this today I'm gonna create an ad uh, on this topic and let's let's see how we can pull it off. All right, cool guys. Thank you for your inputs. Appreciate it. Um, and I'm gonna go next. And wow, we are still people joining in. 73 participants participants right now. Not too bad. Great. So, what tools would you need in terms of launching your Facebook, uh, Instagram story ad? I'm sorry. You would need a Facebook ad manager, you would need a Canva, and you would need Human5. Now, Instagram, basically, when you, whenever you launch an Instagram ad campaign, you use a Facebook ad manager because you know it like Facebook bought Instagram. So it's a part of the Facebook ad manager where you can set up and create your Instagram story ads. Canva is basically a tool. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys might be familiar with Canva. It's a free tool that you can use to create Instagram story images. And Human5 is again a free tool uh, to create video ads for your business. Uh, you don't have to spend a dime on any of these. They're all free. You only spend on what you are uh, basically for impressions that you are running your ads for. So, so let's go inside the Facebook um, ad manager and let's see what we have. <clears throat> Great. Perfect. So this is how a Facebook ad manager looks like. Um, I'm gonna, this is basically how your Facebook ad manager dashboard will look like. It's free. Again, if you have a Facebook page, you can create a free Facebook ad manager or, you know, it's a DIY step. If you really want to know more about how to, you know, optimize and create more insightful campaigns and stuff, uh, hold on and I will give you like an amazing tip after this webinar. So, let me create an ad campaign now. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Uh, these are the sort of campaigns that basically we can uh, create on Facebook uh, Ad Manager. Um, basically, um, yeah. So you have something called as brand awareness campaign. This is basically if you want, if you are new in the market, you want to reach out to more people at a cheaper cost. Uh, you know. Uh, but your objective is only awareness, but not any sort of clicks or conversions or leads. In that case, you use a brand awareness campaign. Uh, you can improve your reach at a very cheap cost, reach out to people around your locality in different countries, continents, uh, of course, uh, wherever you want based on your objective. Reach campaign is basically you want to reach out to maximum number of people. So the difference between brand awareness and reach campaign is that in brand awareness, the objective is only brand awareness. And there are some tricks through which you can narrow down with lookalike audiences and create like a subset of your real engaged users. But I'll not cover that today. But reach is basically if you want to reach out to more people at a cheaper cost. So it's purely for reach purpose. Uh, where people get to see your ads, you know, you count on your impressions, and that's basically what the reach campaign uh, looks like. They all fall under awareness bucket. Um, this is during consideration phase. So 
basically the objectives and consideration are more um, result oriented. Uh, traffic campaign is basically if you want to drive somebody from Instagram to your website, to your store, or it could be uh, to any of the products or services that you're offering at the, Mac, at the lowest cost. So the objective here is only traffic. That means more amount of people would click and they would go to your website. Now it's up to your web page and your landing page, how you have structured, how you've created the funnel. It all depends on that, whether the person is going to convert or not, whether it could be your lead objective, you want to generate leads, or it could be selling an ebook or any sort of service. So that Facebook doesn't depend on your landing page. They will only drive the traffic to your website or landing page when you're running a traffic uh, consideration campaign. <clears throat> Engagement is simple, it defines as engagement. So basically, if you want to have more likes and shares on your post or on any of your ad, that's when you uh, use engagement metric. Uh, it's as simple as that. Your objective is engagement, so don't expect people to go on your website or you know, uh, get more likes and uh, get more uh, traffic on your app or whatsoever. It's purely for engagement purpose. So you'll get a lot of likes and shares, so people would engage, but that's about it. So you wanna burn cash on that? Sure, go for it. <clears throat> okay, so app install campaign. Uh, this is, it, as it says, it's, it's very easy. You, basically this is uh, purely for driving more app installs. So if you want, you have an app and you have uh, any sort of uh, product or service that you're selling through your app, so you can drive people to install your app. Uh, you know, Facebook SDK integrates with your app uh, backend manager. It could be iTunes Store, uh, Apple Store, and you can easily track the conversions through Facebook itself. That means you run an ad on Instagram Story. When somebody clicks, they go directly to your app, the App Store. It could be Google Play Store or the iOS Store, and they can install your app. And you can track it right here in the face Facebook dashboard. So that's basically app install. Uh, video views again are very uh, easy to understand you want to get more video views for your uh, it could be your blog it could be your vlog uh, it could be uh, any short video that you want to promote uh, that's where you can actually use this to um, you know um, <clears throat> sorry yeah <clears throat> that's when you can actually use this uh, uh, video views uh, consideration uh, objective and you can drive more video views Lead generation, again, this is purely for generating leads inside Facebook or for Instagram. So the way it works is that you don't, you don't have a landing page, you don't have a website you know, to generate a lead, right? Because you need some sort of a digital asset to capture leads when somebody is visiting. And you need like a form where you can have your name, email, phone number, place, whatsoever your objective may be. So lead generation is great because Facebook embeds a form inside your ad campaign. And when somebody clicks, like pop-up sort of opens, with, which autofills your data, uh, you know, and you can actually capture and generate a lot of leads through lead generation campaign. If that's your objective, if you have a sales team to basically call them, you know, kind of follow up, or you want to drive more conversions through emails. So you can also integrate a lead generation campaign with your email automation. So meaning that when anybody signs up, you can just trigger an email. And the beauty about it is that you don't even need a website for it because Facebook solves that problem for you right inside your Instagram or Facebook. So this is more about creating a funnel inside Facebook or Instagram and which is lead generation uh, objective. Great guys, um, so moving, moving forward, messages is basically if you want uh, people to send you more messages on your Facebook page. So I'm sure you, you guys would have seen, uh, I'm gonna show you quickly. Uh, how this messaging campaign works. So, <clears throat> great. So that's my page, uh, Standout, um, you know, and uh, you can basically optimize your messaging uh, in a way that you can drive more people to send you messages in your inbox. So this is my page, and I have a messenger associated with my page. So when you run an ad for, you know, a lead generation, uh, sorry, ad for message, a conversation objectives, then more people would start sending you messages through your ad. You can embed those message buttons in your ad 
and people will send you uh, messages and you can even automate that using a chatbot and uh, you know make it more automated so that you don't have to physically be present all the time answering questions so we run an interesting campaign for a client in brazil you know he doesn't even have a website uh, you know he has a small studio and you know this guy is in a loss right now because of the covid crisis and he was really devastated saying that i'm i don't know how to like you know get more people for my studio and you know uh, he has a website uh, he was really struggling we just ran like a message campaign for him the same messages campaign around his 10 kilometer radius and he got like 20 people contacting him within 24 hours he closed five deals and he's super happy you know that's the beauty about messages too like you can do all of that with hyper local ad campaigns through your messages click to message objective great guys um i hope you guys are on with me is everybody good can i have some cheering hands <clears throat> is everybody on the same page god my god <laughs> great great awesome awesome good to see you guys are you guys are uh, engaged awesome awesome great guys so good so i'm going forward now uh, i'm going to create an ad like after explaining this because i think this is more important before we can dive inside creating an ad okay um great conversions is when you really want to optimize your ad for conversions this is purely through your website or your landing page so for instance you have a landing page or a website and you have a form and you want people to come to your website fill in the form and sign up you know it could be maybe maybe you're selling them an ebook so you know it's a funnel that you create first would be the ad campaign drive them to the website then they go to the next page where they can buy the product so with the conversion campaign you can actually track right inside facebook uh, how many people are actually converting and going through that funnel um, and you, you can actually set it up it's it's pretty easy you gotta embed some facebook pixels in your website and that's how you can start tracking your campaigns. Um, this is catalog sales is purely for your, if you have an e-commerce store and you have uh, you know multiple categories and catalogs, you can optimize your ad for driving more sales for your products through. Uh, that's purely for e-commerce. Uh, store traffic is again you want to drive traffic. This one is sales, meaning that you want to drive more conversions through your Facebook or Instagram ads. And this is traffic, meaning you just want traffic on your page and you want to maybe it could be for, you know, testing purpose. You want to see how users are behaving on your website, whether are they buying or not, what sort of pages are visiting. And you can actually track all of that, too, you know, <laughs> so, so that is the beauty about traffic ad. Great. <clears throat> so going forward. Um, so I'm going to start creating an ad now for the food and travel uh, online food and travel by Ankita. Uh, let's go forward and let's create an ad. So I'm going to create a traffic ad. Um, so I select traffic and I just add online food and travel. Okay. Uh, I didn't get it. Like, how can it be online travel? Maybe just online food. Because you cannot travel online, right? So let's do online food uh, delivery. Um, so this is my campaign name, uh, which I will set here because I would need to track this when I launch the campaign. So I should be familiar with what the name I'm putting here. Uh, create an A-B test. Uh, if I want to test multiple creatives and placements and audience and delivery, then I can use this. Uh, for instance, I've got two video ads or I've got one video, one picture, and I want to test, I want to see, you know, uh, if is the video performing better or is the image in that case i can turn this on and i could upload both the assets in my uh you know ad manager and that way i can see the results you know uh, similarly for placements you know i want to target users in singapore i want to target users in india i want to target users in indonesia so you know i can create three tests with different audience uh, segments and i can see okay my product is performing better in singapore than indonesia or better in india than in singapore you know whatsoever it may be and that's basically uh, why we call it av testing you can click it on and you can actually set it up today we will not do this because we'll keep it very simple so that you guys get the basic understanding of how to set it up all right um, 
this is a daily budget. So you want to associate some sort of a daily uh, budget that you want to run because without any money, you cannot run an ad on Facebook. Facebook or Instagram will charge you per impression. Uh, you can optimize it for clicks, but basically charges you per impression. Uh, and the cost is very low. So you can actually reach out to a lot of people in a very small budget, unlike uh, traditional advertising like news, paper, uh, telephone, or radio. So maybe we just keep $100 for now. Um, <clears throat> great. This is cost bid optimization. So I want to optimize my ad for lowest cost to so get the most results for my budget. Uh, so I would keep this on and I would just continue. Uh, there are some advanced options too. Like if I want my delivery to be accelerated or standard, so meaning that um, I'm running short on time. I just want to quickly get this up within three days. I want some sales. I would select accelerated. So Facebook will not optimize your ad on a daily budget basis, but it'll just throw up your ad based on the budget you have and try to accelerate the delivery of your ad. Uh, today, we'll just keep it standard and we just continue. All right. <clears throat> Perfect. How do I remove this? Okay, great. So this is uh, the ad set name basically. Um, I can name my ad set. So, so Ankita, can you tell me more about where would you want to target this ad? Uh, some sort of uh, location preferences um, for the online food. Any city in India, okay. Any city, okay. Do you have, uh, okay, no preferences that mean. Okay, perfect. So any city in India, sounds good. You wanna reach out, you wanna reach out for online food delivery in across India. Sounds great, um, perfect, cool. So let's keep it India. Um, all cities, India is huge, right? So you must know that um, if you if you advertise across India, your costs would uh, not like you would not get the right filter audience because uh, the population is huge, you know, you're, you need like a huge budget to reach out to across India, unlike Singapore, which is uh, very targeted, uh, though the costs are higher in India. Udaipur and Rajasthan. Okay, perfect. Perfect. India. Okay, you have any sort of uh, age preferences like, um, Okay, Vishal asks a question. What if we wish to bring someone to our Facebook page? Um, what if we wish to bring someone to our Facebook page? Uh, yes, definitely. You can drive a lot of people to your Facebook page as well. Uh, the moment you can actually run an ad for engagement, uh, you know, uh, that would actually uh, enable audience to engage with your ad and go to your page. You can improve your likes on your page using uh, engagement metrics. Uh, and that's how you can get a lot of people on your page. You can also use a messages objective, which I discussed in the past. So what happened is that um, when uh, you can actually drag people to click and send you a message. So, so it becomes more personal and you can actually interact with them and not just bringing them on your page. Uh, I would say uh, the days are gone when you know you need to have like 1 million Facebook likes. It doesn't really matter. The organic reach is going so low on Facebook that without ads, you cannot basically optimize. But yeah, if your objective is branding, go for engagement objective and you would uh, improve your Facebook likes and engagement on your page. Great, 20 to 35 is the uh, audience. So I keep it India or the Rajasthan, 20 to 35. <clears throat> Great, now, um, where do you want to drive traffic? Great, so you see like Facebook has newly implemented this WhatsApp feature. So you can actually drive traffic directly to your WhatsApp number. You need to have a, you don't even need a business WhatsApp account. Basically, you just need to put in your WhatsApp number, select your page, and uh, any person who clicks on your ad will basically open this WhatsApp and send you a message. <laughs> How cool is that, right? So you can actually drive WhatsApp in case you don't have a website, you don't have like a digital asset you want to drive on. So, uh, so today uh, we do, we are gonna drive traffic to our website. 
considering that uh, Ankita has a website who's, which is selling online food delivery across India. So, uh, so we would optimize it for website. That's where you select these options. If you have an app, you can also drive traffic to your app. Uh, you'll have to basically implement some technical SDK features into Facebook for tracking your conversions through app. Uh, messengers, again, as I said, you can drive people to click and con converse with you. WhatsApp, perfect. Great. Now, um, we have something called as dynamic creative. I'm going to keep it off for now and the offer as well. These are some advanced features. If you have multiple images and, you know, headlines and assets, you can use a dynamic creative. So Facebook will automatically, you know, uh, test various versions of your ad creative and deliver it to your target audience. And based on uh, which asset is performing the best, it would actually push that out uh, further. So, so it's going to be very dynamic. And your, uh, if you have multiple uh, creatives, this would help you in terms of improving your uh, you know, results. Great. So coming to the audience section. Now, uh, we know that we have to advertise in Odeh for Rajasthan. So uh, let's not worry about custom. It's again an advanced feature, which I can explain you uh, later. Um, let's look at um, India Udaipur. Great, so we are gonna run an ad uh, in Udaipur. It's, it's gonna be a hyper-local ad campaign because we're targeting a very specific city. Uh, when I look at this city, uh, you know, uh, when, I, when I select this option, I can see that uh, I can keep it to current city. So it'll only advertise in the city, which is the main Udaipur city. But you know, we do understand a lot of people also stay on the outskirts of cities, if that is something also you want to tap on. Uh, mostly the students uh, are living in the outskirts of the cities because they cannot afford to live in the main city, be it any main or big city. So in that case, I would keep my, uh, you know, radius to 40 kilometers. You can adjust this based on your objective. Uh, I can see that my potential reach right now is 590,000 of people only in Udaipur, Rajasthan and the surrounding 40 kilometer radius. Um, great. So I keep my age from 20 to 35 because I want to reach out to people between this age group. Um, great. You can, you can actually even, so uh, for, for instance, if you're selling uh, products like beauty care products and stuff. You can just target women. If you're selling uh, products which are more male dominated, you can only target men. So that's the beauty, right? You can actually target based on gender and also the based on language. Uh, you know, uh, I would I would keep it English because my ad is going to be in English. So I would I want people to actually speak English to be able to read my ad and engage with my ad. Uh, in, a, in, in, in any other country, like if you want to target in France and Italy in Germany, you can actually change your languages. You can change your ad copy in those languages and you know optimize it for delivering in those specific uh, target places. Uh, details targeting. Here is where I define my interests, my demographics, my behaviors. So uh, you can actually see that uh, when you create an ad, this is most of this is the most essential part of your ad campaign. Apart from the other important elements, uh, based on this, Facebook will actually deliver your ad and optimize it. Uh, this could be the game changer, basically, if your ad performs great or it doesn't perform at all. Uh, you know, having a too broad audience might not work out for you and having a too narrow, narrow audience might shoot up your cost. So, so here is when you actually decide and you experiment what is going to work for your business. So uh, Ankita said that she's going to be reaching out for people uh, who want to deliver online food. So I'm just going to do a quick search on online food and see. Okay, there you go. I've got um, online food ordering interest, 31 million people looking to order food online. And then you have something like foods and restaurants. So I'm going to keep this for sure because this exactly defines the intent of the user, uh, right? And then I'm gonna also look for some other related. Uh... So definitely I'm gonna reach out to people who are interested in food and restaurant. I mean, I think everyone's interested in food and restaurant. So uh, that's, that's not a thing, but yeah, still, um, I will keep this so that my ad actually performs. Um, online food ordering is great. Though you can see the reach has gone down to 16 million people now. 
because of course, you know, we are just targeting one city in India. So uh, you will not have more than 16,000 uh, people. Uh, we can actually include some additional interests, uh, maybe uh, behaviors and interests, uh, basically uh, based on, so, so the way it works is that you can actually target in three different ways. One is demographics, interest, and behavior. So interest could be anything if a person is interested in, if I like pages related to supercars, that means I'm interested in supercar. So if somebody uses a uh, supercar as the interest, I would see the ad, you know, that's how it works. Uh, if I'm interested in any other product, uh, that would count under interest. Behavior is basically very interesting because you can actually uh, classify your audience based on behaviors. Uh, you can see that if some, you can uh, create audience based on anniversary within 61 to 90 days, Consumer classification, uh, if I look at India, I can target uh, users basically with high spend or low uh, spend on online goods. So if I really want to reach out to people who can actually afford expensive products, I would only keep people in India who prefer high value goods. Uh, similarly, you can have behaviors based on digital activities, you know, uh, audience uh, interested in gaming, uh, you know, Facebook payments, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really interesting because so this is where you can actually optimize. Uh, for, for today, it's, since it's online food ordering, I'm just gonna find uh, things related to food. And let's see, um, interest, fast food, seafood, organic food. Great, Ankita. So, okay, I have a question from Art. Would these ads be visible to people who are connected to my social media or anybody who falls under a demographic selection? Um, actually, you can uh, part. Actually, you can uh, we can set that up inside here right now. So I'm going to show you next. You can actually include uh, people. You can exclude or include more people in your audience. It could be users who like your page. You want ad to show to them. Yes, you can do that. I'll show you right after the step. Great, uh, Ankita. So. Is there any sort of particular niche uh, food that you want to uh, like sell? Or it could be like any sort of food because when I look at food, you can see that there are seafoods, fast foods, organic foods, snack food, blah, blah, blah. So you can actually optimize, you know, based on any food. <laughs> Great. So let's do any food. Let's just keep it food for now. Um, and I've got, you can see like my potential reach just boosted up to 180,000 people. I think that is good enough uh, for one city to target. And I think we can just move forward. But again, guys, remember, this is the most important part. You know, or you make sure that you have your behaviors and interests in place. If you keep your audience too broad, your ad might, you, will, you might just end up spending more money and wasting it uh, because your audience is too broad. So try to keep it more defined. Uh, make sure that this middle is in the middle. Uh, that would be one of the good indicators to evaluate whether your ad setting is correct or not. <clears throat> Great. So you can also select this option if you want, if your ad performs. So the way the Facebook algorithm works is that Facebook will start delivering ad to certain segments of audience based on a definition. And if Facebook notices that, okay, one part is performing really good, then it would like expand its reach in that particular segment. Uh, that's what happens when you select this um, uh, feature, which is reach people beyond your detailed targeting selection and slightly new performance. So you can always select this, it's good. Uh, but if you want to really restrict your audience to a particular niche, then you should never select this option. Great. <clears throat> now uh, coming to parts uh, uh, comment that how do I also include people who like my page? So you can actually uh, do that here exclude people, narrow audience. Okay. So there, that's where part you do it. People who like your page, right? Uh, friends, you can also reach out to friends of people who like your page. And you can also exclude if you want, if you don't want your ad to be shown to people who like your page, you can do that as well. So since if you want to reach out to people who want to like your page, just select this option and you're good to go. Uh, you can also narrow down your audience based on based on and and or objective. Uh, it's it's basically the set objective. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, but 
uh, like if you if you want somebody to have behavior A plus behavior B, so you can actually you know have a very narrow targeting. So that's when you can select narrow audience. So if I want people who like food and I also want people who basically drive car, then I can do that. You know, so it should also match this sort of targeting. Today I'm gonna not do this. I'm gonna just keep it very simple. So I'm not select the page as well. You can save this audience because it's good. Um, food online. Um, 20 to 35, whatever. Perfect. So, so that's how I save my audience. Uh, it's important to save your audience so that you can use it later as well, you know, uh, when you're running a new ad or something like that. This is where you define your placements. Now, of course, if you want to, since we are only going to launch an ad on Instagram stories, I'm just going to uncheck all these other options. I only keep Instagram uh, as my targeting objective, not even explore, only stories. So my ad is only gonna show like this as a story ad to uh, you know to the target audience that I'm reaching out to. Um, and that's how you optimize your ad for Instagram stories. Mm, perfect. There's something else, feed. Yes, I don't want feed as well. Yes. So it's only gonna be Instagram stories, uh, which is here. Perfect. Uh, I can see this here, one, one of 15 placements. So this is where basically you, you know, launch an ad. If you want to also launch it on Facebook, sorry, Facebook, audience network, you can select all these options and your ad will del deliver to your placement that you select here. Uh, you can also define your ad based on Android or iOS devices. Uh, you want to reach out to people basically, mm, okay, sorry, we've got a comment here. All right, so this is a, this is a very interesting question from Ven. Uh, how do you encourage brick and mortar business to adopt Instagram to promote their business? Well, this is, this is something, uh, so this is really interesting because Facebook has this hyper local marketing feature. And I think all the brick and mortar businesses should use Facebook or Instagram marketing because you can actually run ads and target people around your physical area. So if you, you might be in one, uh, one location, but you can target at 10 kilometers radius or 20 kilometers radius around your area, and you can drive them to, you know, probably engage with you on WhatsApp or, you know, Messenger. So it's really, it's really powerful. You know, we have done this for our clients in Brazil as well, I was talking about, uh, you know. So I think in today's world, if you can offer something online, go for a brick or mortar business. Uh, I think that's gonna definitely work out uh, and it works beautifully well with Instagram and Facebook targeting. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna show you like, basically you can see this is sort of a brick and mortar targeting I'm doing right now because I'm targeting in Udaipur, Jaipur around 40 kilometers radius. So this is where you can actually optimize it, you know, uh, when, wherever you are, uh, you can actually run around your particular location. You can even target by the locality. So I want to basically target a particular, you know, mall in Singapore. I can do that as well. So that's the beauty of, uh, you know, Facebook uh, uh, hyperlocal uh, advertising. So great. <clears throat> okay, Ankita starts with my username. Is it going to be visible? Uh, well, uh, you, you're going to be running ad uh, with your Facebook page uh, or Instagram page. So guys, most important, uh, most important announcement, you need to have a Facebook or Instagram page before you run ads on Facebook or Instagram, because then how, it, how are you gonna run an ad, right? You, are, you cannot run an ad using your profile. So you need a Facebook or an Instagram page. For Instagram stories, you definitely need a Facebook and an Instagram page to run an ad on Instagram. So without that, you cannot. You can just create a free account uh, and you can just you know launch an ad. That's, that's no brainer. Uh, great. Should it be a business account? Um, well, uh, the Facebook pages are already business accounts. Uh, uh, basically, you'll have to create an ad manager uh, account, a business account on Facebook to advertise this. Uh, today, we are only gonna cover how to optimize the Instagram story ads. But yeah, if you guys have more, if you guys need, if you guys need more insights and information on this, we have one of our workshops happening on the 30th of this month. It's a full day workshop. And I will show you guys to do this on your own. You know, I will be mentoring and coaching you and we'll run campaigns together. 
uh, during that entire workshop and I can answer all your questions that you have. So doesn't matter where you come from, you're a marketing professional or you are running a brick and mortar business, whatsoever, uh, that workshop would actually be very useful for you. Uh, great, so moving forward, um, I would optimize my ad delivery for clicks, impressions or daily gearing. So basically I wanna, I'm gonna optimize it for landing page views because I wanna see uh, what's the cost per landing page view. So I wanna see that in my analytics when I'm running the ad. Because cost per click will not make sense for me if people are not going to my website. My objective here is driving people to my website, which I have uh, mentioned here, which I have defined here, sorry, here. So that's why I need to optimize my ads for landing page view. So I can see, okay, I'm spending $2 per landing page view, and out of which how many are converting and probably calculate my ROI and stuff like that. Great. So cost control, you don't have to worry about this. You can select a start and end date. You want to just run an ad for three days or four days or whatsoever. You can define that here and Facebook will calculate your cost based on that. Uh, I'm just going to keep for now run my ad continuously starting today. Um, great. You can also limit your spends uh, if you want, like you don't want Facebook to spend the entire amount on your ad. Yes, you can do that. I click on continue. Great. So we are done with our campaign objective, our ad set objective. Now we are diving into the ad creative objective. Not the most interesting part, right? I mean, what sort of creative should I create so that my ad basically engages and people actually click on it or you know, convert? So let's get started. Are you guys good? Uh, you guys doing good? Can I have like some sort of hands? I always keep forgetting. Where's the chat option? Okay, I'm just going to grab some water. <clears throat> awesome, awesome. So far, so good. Awesome. <clears throat> All right, you want to see the magic? Sure. So let's go. So this is where you define your ad name. Maybe since we are doing a video ad, so I'm just gonna like video ad, online food ordering. That's, that would be my ad name. Um, in terms of my identity, this is where I select my Facebook page and my Instagram page. So these are my Facebook and Instagram pages that I select when I'm creating an ad because the ad will show up uh, using your Facebook page and not your profile. So. That's, that's why we need to uh, create this. Uh, this is where you can select, you want a carousal sort of an ad, you know, which like swipe and go next, or you want like a single image or a video ad. So we're gonna keep it single image or video because on Instagram stories, so I think this would work great. Uh, we can have a, we, since our objective is to create a video ad, so we would probably select this objective. Uh, now I need to add my media here, add a video and image, and basically optimize my primary text. So now the, now the interesting part comes. So as I mentioned in my presentation that you can use Canva, this is basically Canva where, you know, um, you can create, you can go to templates. It's a free account. You don't, you don't have to pay anything for it. Uh, you go to Instagram templates and you can actually um, select, uh, you, they already have some great templates and you can actually select and optimize and create it. So, um, so maybe like, um, since we're doing a video, I'm not gonna dive into this, but I'll just quickly take you through this. Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, for example, now I want to run an ad for food. So maybe I will select this one because it's kind of like, you know, related to food. Uh, use this template. <clears throat> now I can basically change the picture here of my food you know, whichever I want. I can upload it right here in my account and change this. I can change the text, uh, basically make it more appealing, you know, um, other yummy food. It could be anything based on your, uh, you know, creative uh, objective. And, you know, you can actually download it and save it. So this is how Canva works, right? It's pretty, it's pretty uh, easy. You have templates, you can replace this image. Uh, I can go to Pexels, 
like just for testing purpose. It's a free stock image website. You can find images for free. Uh, you know, and you don't have and you don't have to worry about copyright because uh, this is copyright free images. Now maybe Ankita is selling this role in uh, Jaipur, so you know she can actually download this and. So I can go to my Canva templates. Yeah. I can just replace this image with the rules, you know, like maybe this is what I want to show. So this becomes like a really yummy roll, you know, which I feel like eating right now. I can add some text on it and my ad is kind of set, you know. Um, so this is how you create a video, an image ad. Now I'm gonna show you the video ad basically. So you can use a tool called as Lumen5, uh, which is here. It's an AI based uh, video creation tool. Uh, it's free if you sign up. Uh, of course, with free, you get some sort of cons, which is like they would have like a watermark at the end of the video, but you can actually remove that with, in a smart way, which I'm gonna show you. So you can use like Lumen5, it's a free uh, video creation tool. Uh, you know, you can, if you have a blog, you'll convert a, your blog into a video. You can even add a script and it's going to do this. So I'm, today I'm just gonna go and maybe uh, use nothing and skip this part but actually converts to blogs and videos. So here I can select my, uh, you know, Instagram story objective. And I go here, I can select this sort of, um, you know, theme that I want to implement. It could be a refined, uh, lively, focused, smart, modern, uh, fresh. Mm. Okay, let's go with the fresh theme. Maybe I'll go with the fresh theme today and uh, yeah, I'll show you within like five minutes, your video will be up and running. It's that easy. Um, so welcome to Lumen5. I can add some sort of, uh, you know, storylines here. Now let's, let's find some stock library of food. Food. Great. So let's look at this. It's free. It looks good. I just drop it here and there you go, my free. Let's let's name the company as therefore street food. There you go. So you can see, like uh, I can preview this something like this. Oh, there for street food. Sorry, do it. Oh, sorry. Should be food. My bad. <clears throat> oh, there for street food. Perfect. See? Becomes like a really smooth, uh, you know, uh, story. Now I can add more text if I want. Um, free delivery today. So, I'm using free and today because free is really exciting to as a bait, which helps in conversions. Today means it's immediate, so I want to order today. Food is something you would order right now, so that's what I want to do. So therefore, street food, free delivery today. Maybe I'll take it for street food. Okay, great. Now I can actually create like a subset of this um, get 30 percent off i'm just creating something just for now perfect now i add probably a very similar another sort of food that could be this There you go. Let's look at it. Perfect. I remove all these additional, uh, you know, templates that are needed. 
Add your deleters. There you go. Delete. Delete. So that's it. Now I can preview my ad. That's it. Becomes like a simple, beautiful looking food ad, right? How much time did that take? Not even 10 minutes, right? Maybe a bit more. So now all I have to do is go and publish this. Okay. Now I just wanna create a video out of this and I can download it for free. Damn, I feel like eating food right now. <laughs> Great. Um, awesome. Now I go to my dashboard and I would be able to see my video that I created. Now, since it's a free account, uh, human fiber add like a uh, you know, um, prepare download. You even five will add like a watermark at the end of the video. Why is it not downloading? Okay. Mm. Uh, I think it just split into two videos and just gonna publish it again. Should be fine. Publish. Okay, it's actually creating two videos, so I'm just gonna put everything in one video. I think that is the mistake here. Mm. Three seconds and this is three seconds, okay. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Preview layout, okay. Cool, so anyways, we'll use one of these videos. Oh, that's fine. We've got like two good looking videos. Um, there you go, women five videos, extract. There you go, I've got these two videos uh, right now, which I can basically use it. Perfect, and the other video here. Great, we can actually have the complete video in one. I just downloaded it separately, so it's showing two separate videos, uh, but it's very easy to have everything in one and it should be good. Um, now we're going back to our ad manager and we're gonna start creating an ad. So now I have an option to upload ad video or create a video. So I can even create a video or I can add a video. So since we already have a video, we can just use it. Um, there you go. <clears throat> But you know, it's, it's all about how you how creative you can be, you know, what sort of text you can have on your video, which would compel your audience to basically download and convert, right? So that's really important how you use a creative element in this. Now I've got my video in place. Uh, you can see how my Instagram story is looking out like, you know, Odepur street food, free delivery today. Amazing, right? I mean, today everyone would want to like order this and eat it right now. I mean, look at the beauty of this video. <laughs> uh, great. So this is where you add your website. So when somebody, you want to drive people to basically your website, that's our objective in this ad. So you can actually put your website detail. I'm just gonna put um, standard right now because that's what we have right now. Um, okay. Yeah, pixel is not tracking because of course, uh, great. This is your call to action button. Uh, this is your primary text. Now, this text would basically um, show up sometimes in the bottom, you know? So I can just put order free, order online food today. Okay. 
over and I can probably add some sort of smileys because you know it it works like perfect. So this becomes my primary text. Um, you know, you can actually change it based on a business objective. Uh, this is my call to action button. So meaning that I'm gonna show you what I mean basically. Great. So this is the call to action button, learn more. You know, like when somebody wants to swipe up, looking at your story, that's when they will go to your website. So I wanna change this because I don't want them to know more about my food, but to take an action. So I would say something like uh, get offer or shop now. Yes, shop now. Because I want to buy food, right? I want, I want to make them take an action through my ad. So that's when I'm going to talk and say shop now. Great. You can edit your story's background colors if you want. Don't need it right now because I think this video is already so good. Uh, you can select the languages if you have transcripts. If basically you are doing videos where you are speaking, you know, as, as a blog, in that case, you can add uh, languages. So you only reach out to people who can actually listen to you. You can also add um, translations here, where it will translate and embed your, uh, the sub, basically the script in your video, like, um, like a subtitle, yeah. <clears throat> that's it you know uh, you would need this facebook pixel uh, if you want to track you know how many people are actually driving to your website and taking action you would need to implement a facebook pixel and enable this so that the tracking is enabled on your website or the landing page where you want to drive this is not required if you are driving on whatsapp or a messenger ad you know so yeah so i just keep it uh, off for now and then you have to just confirm and your ad will be published and ready to go now i can also show you okay there's no preview available yes okay that's it like this is how your ad is going to look like you know and i can actually see if it they can create a preview but it's not letting me create a preview today <clears throat> So that's it guys, you know, you launch this ad and you will, you will, your audience will start seeing these stories in their Instagram, uh, you know, and you can actually um, see how many people are clicking and driving. You can, um, you can track your campaigns, clicks, results, impressions, uh, cost per result, uh, the amount spent in total, you know, all of that in your analytics in the Facebook uh, dashboard and and yeah, you can optimize your ad based on that. So let me go quickly here and see if I can create a preview. Okay, awesome. Ad preview is right here. Share a link. Perfect. So I'm going to send this link in the chat. You guys can click and approve and you'll see this ad in your Instagram story. Perfect. I've got some questions. Good question. How can I... Oh, not privately, I want everyone in the meeting. Perfect. So guys, I've just shared a link. You can actually click on this to your phone or your laptop. But since it's an Instagram story ad, you will only see it on your Instagram stories. So when you check, when you click this link, you will get something like approve. I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna add this. Um, I'll show you me something like this, you know. Standout wants to share an ad with you. Oh, I click on show ad. See, this is basically how beautiful the story ad looks like, right? Uh, click shop now. So I click on show ad. Now this ad, will I will start seeing this ad basically uh, in my uh, Facebook. So uh, in my Instagram basically. So you have to open your phone, your Instagram stories and you will not see it instantly, but you keep like, swiping your stories and you will, you will see this ad appearing and you can see like when you click, it goes to our website, it's a standout website. So that's about it, right? I mean, the ad is ready to go and people will come on your website, it will take an action, buy food from you, whatsoever. So the similar sort of approach you can apply in your brick and mortar business. Like, you know, if you have a saloon, you have a shop, whatsoever, you can just create an ad, very compelling and attractive ad to enable people to take an action, come to your website or your uh, you know message or whatsoever it may be so there was a question somebody asked uh, interesting question by Johans. can your cta the instagram add directly to your phone number uh, not your phone number but your whatsapp yes 
uh, you will have to uh, basically create an ad based on the objective, which is WhatsApp. So, um, when, so basically on the ads manager, when we select a uh, website objective and start to select a WhatsApp. So when people click, they directly send a message to your personal WhatsApp or business WhatsApp number. So that is something you can do. Um, phone number is not possible because I think it charges my reply and we don't have that feature in Facebook uh, right now. Change background music in the case you want. Yes, definitely, Ankita, you can change the background music on Lumen5. Lumen5 has some uh, great music library as well. You can go here and you can select the sort of music that you want, you know, like I want this ordinary music. Not bad, right? So you have like a great music library you can select and choose from. You can optimize this uh, as the way you like it. It's super easy to go. Great. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> no problem. No problem, Johans. <laughs> um, our business doesn't have a website, but we do have a Facebook page where we post all our offerings. Would you, what would be the best option to, for us to promote? Our intention is to bring people to our Facebook page. Exactly. So what you have to do, Vishal, is that you have to create an ad for message, messages objective. So what happens in that case, people would click on the ad and instead going to a website or WhatsApp, they will start chatting with you with your messenger, your Facebook messenger. That's where you engage people with your ad. So I can show you one quick example. Uh, basically, uh, we have done this for a client in Brazil. Um, you know, the way we are running the ads. Uh, just give me like a second and I'll be right there. <clears throat> So that's, that's a perfect example for a brick and mortar business. So, um, great. So we run this ad for, you know, uh, the models, that, like people who want to like take photo shoots in Brazil, uh, in, Sa in San Jose campus area. And I can show you the sort of ad that we ran for them. Um, so you get an idea basically how you can do this for a business. Great, this is the link. I'm gonna share this link and you can actually uh, check it out on your Facebook as well. You can see how this ad is done and you know, how you would want to, uh, how you want the meeting. To drive people to both website and WhatsApp. Can, can we, okay, by Lindsay Tan, can we select more than one option to drive people to both website and WhatsApp? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you have to duplicate your ad sets uh, inside your campaign. And so you would have, in the same campaign, you would have two ad sets. One is for WhatsApp and one is for website. And that way you could actually uh, deliver on both. And you can also A-B test both the campaigns by selecting the A-B test, you know, in the start. Uh, that way you could actually optimize it. And you can also have a campaign budget optimization. So your budget spreads across both the ad sets and you don't spend, you end up spending more money on your ads. Great, so um, let me just show you that ad which I was talking about. So this is basically the ad, uh, agency, uh, you know, this is the company. And this is like the sort of button that you get send message. The moment I click on this, uh, I start engaging with the Facebook Messenger bots. And you can set everything inside your ad manager. Uh, if you guys need more insights on all these minute issues, feel free to join our workshop on 30th uh, at Aventus. And I will be conducting a full day workshop explaining each and everything. So you see, this is the ad that I see on my Facebook feed. When I click on send message, you can see like a bot starts asking me questions. Right? And you can automate all of this within like minutes. So hola, what's obrigada? You know, this is in uh, Portuguese, and it's ask. Basically, it's asking me uh, if we can, if I can give uh, them my number, they will contact me. So I will say okay, and then the bot is gonna throw up a, a new question. Right now, this ad is inactive, so it might not function. But this is the sort of stuff that you can do with your click to message uh, objective. Yeah, 
just to show you guys, right? It's pretty cool, right? So you can do all of this and engage people without having to worry and sit on your messenger 24 seven and you know, texting them like uh, manually. So you can do this. It's very easy to set it up as well. Great guys. So I think that's about the demo. I'm moving back to my presentation where I basically left and diverted my way. This Zoom thing is, yes, great guys. So this is how you basically set it up, right? And as I was mentioning again, um, what the hell is this? Great. So this is basically the amount of money that a lot of digital marketers make today. Uh, you know, people are making more than 50,000 US dollars a month doing digital marketing, uh, helping brands or selling their own online or offline products. $50 is what an, on an average a freelancer makes in digital marketing. So this industry is great. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Instagram story ads was one out of 100 that you could do with digital marketing without having to move from your home, from a laptop, sit anywhere in the world and make money. You know, there's a lot that could be done and that's where the world is heading to. Uh, as an agency, you can charge about a hundred US dollars doing digital marketing. Uh, you know, social media um, marketing agencies make on an average thousand to two thousand five hundred dollars a month. Uh, while a website, you can building a website, you can actually make three to five thousand dollars a month. You know what? You don't even need it to have any coding skills or need to know any sort of language like C plus C plus plus. We have so many tools already out there which are automating all this process. Like I showed you, Lumen5 is one of them. You know, you don't have to know video editing. You don't have to know anything. If you have this creative mindset and you think you can, you know, tweak it, you, the tools are there. You just need to know the right tools to basically, you know, build stuff. Be it a website, be it a video, be it branding. Everything can be done in a very hacky manner. And we are basically launching one of our program for three months on digital marketing uh, starting this May which would cover all the elements of marketing, uh, website to designing to social media, SEO. It's a three month bootcamp. Uh, you can check out on my website, standout.digital. Basically, this is the amount of money a digital marketer makes in the US, about $96,000 on a director level and about $91,000 um, as a digital marketer. So uh, hold on guys, I'm gonna share with you the three great insights on Instagram ads. The, the freebies that I discussed is coming next in the next five to 10 minutes. Feel free to ask me any questions you have, you know, I'll be happy, happy to answer you. Okay, so great, great guys, great. Now this is the workshop I was talking about on the 30th of April. Uh, it starts at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with two hours of lunch in between. It's happening and hosted by Event School of Management you know, I will be your trainer. I will be the one conducting this workshop with you. Whether you want to, you know, uh, see I've mentioned here as well, you can see like create click to text conversational and hyper local campaigns using Instagram. Last point on this. So exactly you would learn how to do this, implement, imply in your brick and mortar business. You would learn how to create a high converting funnel inside Instagram itself without needing a website or an external store. Uh, you would also learn to analyze and optimize the Instagram analytics and audience insights uh, through your Facebook ad account dashboard. Uh, you would understand the importance of using the right filters of your social stories built on social media and all of this. So the good news is uh, that we are running a 20% discount. And if you sign up today, you get 20% discount. The code is SG United. We are Singapore United. So use this coupon code and you get 20% discount for the workshop on 30th April. It's only valid till today midnight. So feel free, you can take a snap of this. I'm anyways gonna share this presentation over the chat and over an email to all of you guys. And also uh, some of the insights and blogs that I've written about. Um, and you can also contact Roshni uh, at the number given here directly and you know, uh, take this workshop you would learn everything, how to create Instagram ads, not just story ads, but any Instagram ads and launch or scale your brick and mortar business or your physical or online store. 
Great. This is one of the boot camps that we are launching also in Singapore. It's an online three month boot camp, which covers, this is not purely for Instagram or Facebook marketing, but this covers everything right from building a website to emails, to marketing, to affiliate marketing, also an internship, something for newbies and newcomers, for students, professionals who want to learn everything about digital marketing, take an extensive three month committed course, uh, happening over a span of three months. You can sign up for this as well. Uh, it's on the website, standout.digital. And now it's the time for the freebies and the goodies. So I'm gonna share you my complete training guide on Instagram ads. It's an ebook. I'll share you a user guide, basically the steps that I took to create the campaign today. You will have everything documented in a step-by-step -step process, objective by objective process. Also some growth hacks that you can use to leverage and you know get more conversions and drive more optimal results for your Instagram, okay? So I'm gonna share this with you right now over a chat. Um, <clears throat> meanwhile, you guys have any questions, feel free to answer, ask me, and I'll be able, able to answer you all the questions. Um, I'm gonna share the eBooks right now so you can access it. Since you guys stayed till the end, thank you for bearing me. And I'm gonna share the, the stuff right now. Great, so it's right here. There you go. This is our training guide that I just shared with everyone. This is the user guide for Instagram. And this is, these are the Instagram hacks. So I've shared three PDF documents with you guys. Feel free to download it. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can email me at whatsapp at standout.digital. I'm gonna leave my email as well. That's my email address. Feel free to ping me anytime, uh, you know, and I'll be happy to assist you. But I really, but I really focus that you guys should uh, you know, sign up for the workshop because it's gonna be a really interesting workshop. Uh, it's not gonna be me explaining, but we will do it together. So you bring in your laptops, you get yourself ready, and we are only having a limited batch of 20 uh, for this workshop. So, so you guys, so yeah, you can actually learn by doing stuff and we will do it together during this entire day. Uh, great guys, any other questions for me? Uh, do you have any other uh, comments? Great guys, I hope you enjoyed, uh, you know, my, the, the webinar. Uh, we kept it a bit short, but I think it was quite insightful. Oh, uh, great, it's, uh, it's exactly 90 minutes. Wow, what a timing, right? <laughs> Thank you guys, Thank you so much. Uh, you know, be safe, uh, stay safe. These times are tough. You know, keep learning, keep yourself engaged with, you know, new uh, learning methodologies. Uh, keep yourself uh, upskilling. And this is the time we can actually, you know, uh, learn a lot and uh, just try to be safe because, you know, the virus is out there and you just have to make sure you have to stay safe. So our business remains safe, you know, and everything goes well. So take, take care of you guys, you know, be safe. Uh, it was really nice meeting you guys. We had people from across Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, India, Berlin. And I don't know what not, am I missing out? Just, just drop in. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, it was really fun. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you for the workshop on the 30th. Uh, have a great day, guys. Take care. Cheers.